To make your designs precise, you can also use rulers and guides. So to use rulers and guides, first of all, you have to go to view right over here. And then over here, you can see that there are so rulers as an option. The shortcut for it is Control, Alt and R. So once you click on rulers, what happens is that you get this ruler right over here, as you can see. So the rulers are based on pixels, as you can see. So over here, there's the zero pixel, zero pixel, and these are the minus pixels and all the way in 2000 something pixel right over here. That is 1024 pixels all the way. So now what you can do is you have various ways to insert guides onto it. So you can see that over here, there's high guide, clear guide option, log guide option. But for that, we need the guide right over here. So to bring the guide, you can actually go over here and click on new guide. And what it does is it asks you whether you want to bring in a horizontal or a vertical guide. So let's say I want a vertical guide in about pixel 300 right over here and press OK. And now you can see that there's a vertical guide right here. You can bring in guide like this or you can click and drag a guide from the ruler as well. The thing is the same. So this is more visual while other one is more like uh, more technical. So let's go over here and add in more guides. So if I were to go to view right over here and you can see right over there, there's the other option to create multiple guides as well. So if I were to click on create multiple guides, you can see you, get, uh, the, you have a choice whether you want to uh, have a number of column and rows right over here. So let's say the number of guides right over here is around three by three right over here. Uh, the width uh, and gutter, you can add in values to um, uh, values to it as well. As you can see, just like this, you can add in a bit of a gutter as well, just like that. And then you can have center column, margin, clear existing guide and so forth. So margin, let's say I'm, I want to have 10, uh, like each from this side, just like this, just like that, or maybe 15, right? And once I press OK, you can see that the guide, the five guides, the gutter, the differences between the guides all has been created just like this. So depending on what kind of guide you want, you can actually do this out. So let's say I want to remove out all the guide. What you can do is you can clear out the guide, which will delete all the hide. Hide guide seems like you deleted it, but you didn't delete it right over there. But if you have to uncheck hide, hide guide, it is still there. If you were to go to view and clear guide, uh, you then you delete all the guide. But another way to delete the guide is by clicking and dragging the guide on the left side right over here as well. So the other one is lock guide, as you can see. So lock guide doesn't let you actually select any guide. So that's another feature right over here. So let me just disable lock guide and let me just delete the guide itself. So I'm just going to say clear guide. So now what happens is that there's no clear guide options anymore. That is because all of the guides has been deleted. So if I want a guide, I can just bring it right over here. So guides are rather for reference. So what I can do right over here is I can enable snap to guide as well. But if I do not enable snap to guide, let's say, for example, I have this object right over here. You can see that as I move this close to guide, nothing happens at the moment right over here. It's just like, uh, let's say for example, um, a guide. But over here, uh, if you were to turn on snap to guide, what happens is that the object will snap on into place. So I want the snap to guide uh, to be turned on right over here. So once I do snap to guide, what happens is that uh, it'll actually uh, snap the object onto the guide right over here. But instead of just snapping right here, you can see that it snaps, but it does not snap really well right here. So to make the snapping mode even more clear, what you can do is you can go over here and click on so drawing smart guide. So what that does is that as you move along, you can see right over here that it actually blinks out right over here. So it actually changes color as you're about to snap. So you know that your close, your object is closer to guide and it snaps onto the place as you can see right over here. So that is what smart, sky, smart guides actually do. And that is how you can work with rulers and guides inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.